da 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 Before I start the next video, let me explain what this is about. While I was producing videos recommending podcasts and YouTube channels, I had too much material or material I wasn't confident about sharing. So I made a two-part video of those podcasts. This week, I'm showing you part two. Also, I'm giving you your homework now, but please watch to the end. Your homework is to tell me three words that confuse you. English has a lot of strange words, and I want to know what words give you trouble. For example, today, I had a student who just didn't understand what lifestyle means. I want to know your words. But please don't give me everyday words like the or banana. Now, on to the video. What I'm going to end this episode on is Business English Pod. So, for the past few episodes where I talk about podcasts and YouTube channels, I didn't cover anything that was related directly to business. There were quite a few that would, were very useful for business. They covered business idioms or business vocabulary or business situations. But the podcasts themselves were not focused on people who need to use English just for business. And Business English Pod does exactly that. English that you think you need to learn. So, for example, there are several that is just telephone English, several that's about presentations, phrases, several that's about meetings words you might hear, things like that. Also, business idioms. What does this idiom mean? And so, they'll talk about the different kinds of English that you might hear and might need to, to use when you are in those business situations. Again, that is Business English Pod. It is very much a commercial, an advertisement for their Business English courses. It's basically a commercial filled with little bits of, hey, let's talk a little bit about Business English. So while I do recommend it, it's because it is a better Business English podcast compared to some of the others that I have listened to before. Now, is there another podcast that I recommend? Well, I joke around a lot. I tease a lot. And I say, hey, you don't need to listen to June's podcast because I'm not being paid to promote Hapa Ekawa, the YouTube channel or the podcast. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I am not paid to do that. It's not about being professional or unprofessional. That's not the reason why I didn't promote his podcast. The reason why I didn't promote his podcast is because I want to do it right now. It's fantastic. If you are not watching his YouTube channel, what are you, what are you doing? You, you have to do, stop, you know what? Stop watching this video right now. I want, you to, I want you to stop, pause it. And I want you to go to YouTube. Forget I'm saying anything. Go to YouTube right now and subscribe to Hapa Ekawa and start making a habit of watching his YouTube channel. He also has a podcast. Absolutely. Look on Apple Podcasts. Look on Spotify. Look on Player FM. Look on uh, RDO. Look at all the different places where you get your podcasts and look for Hapa Ekawa. If you are not comfortable watching YouTube or listening to a podcast, you are already on this Facebook page. And June works so hard to give once a week, sometimes twice or three times a week, sometimes every day, short videos that are designed to help you with your English learning journey.